All right. All right. Shalom. First and foremost, giving our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechai Gwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Uh, this is the uh, brother Yeshaya, part of Men of Valor, South Carolina. And um, this uh, lesson is um, going to be a quick one uh, through the Spirit. Um, but it's going to be more of a testimonial of sorts. Um, as you know, uh, there's this uh, lady, you know, that's going viral in Israel. <laughs> yeah, because we do have our own world. but uh, and, and she's, uh, you know, babbling um, like Elder... Um, <laughs> like Apostle uh, Gabar uh, uh, refers to her as a uh, Babylon baboon or something like that. It was funny as hell. But anyway, yeah, she's just running her mouth and basically um, making light or trying to make light of what uh, us brothers do. You know, um, week uh, you know um, week in and week out. You know, um, serving the Lord. Now I, I got another lesson that because uh, I'm, I'm at work right now. Um, and the spirit just jumped on me to go ahead and put this this one out because I was gonna do the other lesson, but I'll wait till I get home because it's a uh, it's gonna be a little bit more lengthy lengthier than this one. I only have three precepts, but um, just to get into the the testimony. Okay, um, this was a uh, I, I believe this is the first summer or the first spring, first summer or first spring with me and the brothers. Uh, you call and. Um, the, the the former brother Shamar that used to be with us, um, we you know we started hitting highways roughly at the uh, end, like September 2016 or something like that, you know, and um, yeah, uh, still in th um, through the spirit and power we how about shimmy how was shy, but we encountered a biker gang, okay, we were you know um, in the chief place of concourse downtown, um, the Vista, and. We were, you know, doing our thing, uh, kind of overzealous, not going to lie, at the, at the beginning, you know, very overzealous, um, you know, because that this word is precious to us, man. And once we were work, woken up out of that dead state that we were in and everything started to make sense, the word of the Lord started to make sense. All right. And it started to basically cleanse us all right, because the word cleanses us, man. All right. It, it, you know. The, the thing that came after that was the commandment, all right, of, you know, if you if you have this truth, you have to, you know, um, you know, you can't put your candle under a bushel. All right, you have to go into the marketplace, you have to go in the chief place of concourse, you know. And, um, yeah, we were, uh, we were downtown and uh, we encountered a biker gang, like legit, you know, uh, Edomite biker gang. Um, with the skull and whatever. I forgot what patch they had on their uh, vest. Um, knives on their side, man. Daggers. Okay. And we had a discourse with them. And we were going back and forth with them. Okay. And um, things started getting a little heated. Okay. Uh, so let me uh, let me stop right there and get and get a scripture. Okay. Just, uh, I'm going to leave off on that part. Things got a little heated once we started talking. Mind you, this is three of us, and like a, it was like twelve of them. Had to be like fifteen. Some stayed and gathered around us, tried to intimidate us, and some were up the street. They were going to uh, Longhorn to eat or something like that. That's where we kept it. Um, one of the places that we kept downtown. But um, here's the book of Luke, chapter ten and verse nineteen. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, we know these scriptures, all right, but we actually use them because, um, you know, being on the highways and byways, that's, uh, especially when you first start out, um, you know, preaching, prophesying, um, it's a, it can be a nerve wracking thing. OK, um, knowing the right thing to say, knowing what people uh, to engage with and what people just to ignore, um, you know, uh, 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 we used to get messed with by cops a lot. All right. Knowing how to, you know, talk to the cops. Um, we used to get into it with Jake. I <laughs> so many times about to, you know, um, uh, go to fisticuffs with, 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 with Jake. All right. But, you know, wasn't using, um, and exercising wisdom at that point, but, you know, now everything is good, but we had you had to go to that point. You got to grow somewhere. You got to start somewhere. But um, this is Luke ten 
and uh, 19 uh, once again um, behold I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you so we think about these scriptures and we know that if we're coming in the right doctrine, we're coming in, um, you know, we have no God found in our mouth. The Lord is going to do nothing but protect us. And that's why I, I uh, did, uh, you know, what, what sparked me to, you know, talk about this testimony, even though it happened several years ago, literally like seven years ago. Um, it, 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 it showed me, you know, uh, because it's kind of smooth now. Um, we don't get bothered that much because we know how to exercise wisdom from being out there and being in situations like this. But at that time, hey, the Lord could have did anything with us. And this is the uh, point going to when the um, one of the biker, uh, we were getting into it with, one, uh, with you know, some of the females, they thought they were just tough uh, and everything like that. Um, and some of the males, you know, uh, the guy, one of the guys grabbed, um, grabbed the, uh, one of the girls up and said, Let's get a, get away from him before I kill one of these or what before I stab one of them, you know. And if the brother you call see this video, he know what I'm talking about, uh, and he might do a response. But yeah, they said uh, they was gonna kill us or stab us, and they had big ass daggers on their side, okay, like big ass knives, those those fixed blade knives where they, you put it in a sheath, you know, not a a, a pocket knife. You just. Phew, you know what I'm saying? Not something like this shit right here. You know what I'm saying? Not something like this. No, like a legit fixed blade dagger that had a sheath. It was like this little hanging off his side. And he said, let's go before I have to kill one of them or before I have to stab one of them. And I said, oh, shit. And that's and then, you know, we <laughs> obviously we didn't we didn't. uh <laughs> Obviously, we didn't pursue it after that. We just let him go up the street. But nonetheless, me, me and the brothers, we stood firm okay and the lord delivered delivered us out of that you know so this woman talking about why haven't we been killed on the street corners or why haven't we whatever you know whatever nonsense man hey it's not this not for you and you're gonna get a judgment for speaking out against the uh the men of the lord start with the great uh the men of the great millstone so uh i got a couple more scriptures man you know just the, the milk the milk was all right but hey these, these uh, milk ones, you know, hey, this word is living water. So they'll never get old. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 34 and verse 7. The angel of the Lord camp encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So that's the reason why our brothers don't get touched. Um, you know, start with the elders and apostles. Of course, some skirmishes happen with, you know, people. Okay, um, not really, uh, not really us, uh, so to say. I mean, we done been in shoving matches and we had guys spit at us. Yeah, yeah, we, we almost came to blows, but the Lord, hey, the angel stopped that. And that's a whole nother, uh, <laughs> story, but yeah, the angel stopped us from actually going to jail because, uh, some guys tried to attack us, man, spit at us and everything. All right. Hmm. Uh, Psalms 37 and 4 The angel of the Lord encamp is right about them that fear him And deliver them So that's why we get delivered And that's why we haven't been uh, That's why we, we haven't been killed <laughs> Out here on these streets man Because hey, the Lord's word is going out We are coming uh, in truth and sincerity Alright We're coming in truth and sincerity So the Lord is going to protect us man You know um, This is the book of Ezekiel Chapter 3 and verse seven, all right, because and um, I had a uh, you know, not only the the heathens, okay, but you know, you got Jake that that uh, you know, want to fight you, okay. We got, I mean, I know brothers got stories for days. I got stories for days too. Even on my short time being, uh, you know, um, in the game, you know, actually, you know, uh, uh activated, you know, um, uh, actually, you know, uh, active, all right, uh, uh doing the ministry. All right, uh, Ezekiel 3 and 8. Behold, I have had a uh, slack you. Uh, verse 7, but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all those, all the house of Israel are imputed and hard-hearted. Verse 8, behold, I have made thy face strong against thy faces and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. 
fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, because they be a rebellious house. So we're not to fear anything when we're out in them highways and byways, because the Lord, Yah, Bashem, Yah, Oshah has us. He possesses us, all right? The angels of the Lord are camping right with the us. We have these scriptures that we really believe in, and they show you know, just a testimony of how uh, true the Lord is and how he, uh, you know, looks after his people. All right. And he will not forsake us, man. And this is the last one I got. Uh, you know, I didn't want to make this too long. Fucking crackers, man. I hate being at work, man. And people won't let you do your own thing. Uh, Fuck, man, this is the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, bow the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So that's our reasonable service for being out there on the um, highways and byways. And, we, and when you, you know, look at how it's being described, all right, uh, a altar, okay, being a sacrifice, okay, all right? We're, we're being a sacrifice to the Lord. We're presenting our bodies, <laughs> It's like you. It's like we present our bodies by doing what? Um, going out and, and, and battling the ele elements. I um, battling these people, just like I read in um, the book of Ezekiel. He he made our um, faces hard against their faces, man. So we're not dismayed at them looks, those um, mean mugs, and you know those uh, when those demons jump on people and they faces start getting configured, and you can see it. Hey, we're not scared of that, man. All right, and moreover, we present our body as a living sacrifice. And hey, the Lord has kept us. All right, all right, just like as you know, um, with Abraham and um, Isaac. Okay, Abraham, um, you know, uh, was told to sacrifice his son. All right, he did. Uh, he and he had all intentions too. But the Lord stopped him right then. The Lord just wanted to see if he was going to do it. And that's what the Lord uh, does to us, man. Hey, we present our body as a living sacrifice, knowing that you uh, can face peril at any time, death at any time, you know, um, battling the elements, battling, you know, people, possibly losing your job, possibly losing your life. And we're still out there doing it through the spirit power. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? So, um, that's it. Um, I got to get back in here, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechai, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's uh, sheep. All right, until next time, Shalom. To the elect. <laughs> to the Lord's elect. Hold on.